Adult Swim may be known for its TV programs like Robot Chicken and Rick and Morty, but they are also known for publishing video games for small developers like Headlander, Bow Chef, and Duck Game. Now their next developer is Rekim, and their game involving billiard balls with personality. But will this new spin on a game you play in pubs with your mates be an alternative to it? Welcome to the HUD everyone, I'm Zaccaroni, and today I'll be a waiter who will be going through some of the features the game has to offer. So without further ado, please be seated, and here are the toppings on Pool Panic. There's not really much story in this game. You play as the white billiard ball who likes nothing more than shoving other billiard balls down holes just for kicks. And his main goal is simple, complete a set number of levels to access the final finale. After you complete the tutorial level, you are presented with the world map which acts as the hub area, that you can roam freely and complete levels that are presented with little antennas in any order you like. Each level presents with the same objective, pot a set number of balls and then finish the level by potting in the black ball, which is presented on the top right corner. However, they mix things up with different scenarios, like one moment you might be on the field, while another you'll be in a house guiding the ball to the bottom, or you'll be on a roller coaster knocking other balls off their carts. You know, I'm going to be saying the word balls a lot in this episode, so I'm going to call them bills, in short for billiard balls, because every time I said that word, it's almost like I'm referring to the ones between the guide's legs, if you know what I mean. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. On the top left corner are four symbols that represent a special challenge, like completing the level in the fastest time, doing less amount of shots, not letting the black and white bill in the hole until the set amount of bills are potted, and potting all the bills that are on the table. Plus, there are special levels that require you to complete in one shot, and there are other levels that can only be accessed by finding special bills that are hidden in some levels. As you complete levels, the platform you started at rises, and as it keeps rising up, you unlock a time attack challenge called Panic Mode. Finally, there is a local multiplayer mode that go up to four players in two modes. Table mode is where players must pot a set number of bills and then they must go for the black to win the game. However, if you pot yourself or the black bill, then one of your bills will be denied and you have to pot it again. And then there's party mode, where players compete in five rounds of different games that are not featured in the main mode. And they are set to random, so one moment you might be playing pool, but then the next you might be lighting candles, mowing the field, or staying in yellow circles to score points. And the player who wins the most rounds is the winner. From the camping forest to the big city, Pool Panic presents itself in a cartoony style that seems to be ripped out of Rick and Morty, with each Bill character having their own personality, like getting frightened when they see the White Bill, and the White Bill sings along to the music of the completed level. As for options, there is not much that it has to offer. You can mute the music, activate vibrations on controllers, and there are six languages to choose from. The same can be said for PC players as well. Screen resolution goes from 1176 to 3840 or set it to Windows mode, while graphic quality can be set to low to fantastic. But you can only access this feature when you start the game up. In a game of pool, the white bill always stays where it is until you take the shot again. But in Pool Panic, it breaks the rules by allowing you to move your bill freely. Plus, you can aim while moving to line up your shots, and you are given guidance with a white line every time you aim. You know when a bill is going in a hole when the line changes from white to yellow, and you have two types of shots you can perform. You can take a regular shot that is good from afar, or a soft shot that is used when the bill is close to the hole. Plus, you can stop your white bill before it reaches the hole by pressing the trigger or the direction of the movement keys. 
but the game recommends that you use a controller for this game if you're playing on the PC. And while you have your standard red and yellow bills, they mix things up with other bills that can do different things. Some can dodge your shots, charge rush at you, intercept your shots, dance on top of other bills, and there are even zombie bills that turn the other bills into zombies if they come into contact with them, including the black and white bills. Oh, and they also count for failure for keeping them intact at the end of the level challenge. So, no pressure. Pool Panic will cost you £11.39 on Steam, which comes with 32 achievements, while on Switch it will be £10.99, and as for storage, it will take 3GB on Steam and 2.3GB on Switch. Well, that's some of the features I can tell you right now, but if there are some that I have missed out, let me know in the comments and I hope this will give you an idea of what you'll be getting for your money. Check back with me after the end of the month and I'll tell you what I think of Pool Panic and all the other games I've been playing. And if you like what you see, be sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. But until then, I'm Zaccaroni. Enjoy your pizza and I'll see you next time.